Bonjour, Émilie Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Today, I'm going to tell you about a new product, the Atoll, a flexible solution for camera angle adjustment that will make you rethink your L bracket. So let's get started. So how many of you are doing landscape photography and you sometimes need to put your camera from uh, the horizontal to the vertical position. So portrait, basically landscape to portrait mode. Well, it's not easy, right? Because here I can actually put a peak design, a clip, and then put it on my tripod if I'm using a tripod to do landscape. But um, I, I can't fix anything on the side of my camera. Well, that's why people invented L bracket. So an L bracket, it's an L shape, and it's basically uh, takes the place of your little peak design. If you're using peak design, your little uh, peak design capture clip here. And then here it allows you to clip your camera to the portrait mode, to that vertical position. Now, when you do that, you have to, you know, unclip and then move your camera. One of the problem with L bracket is that they get in the way. They get in the way, for example, of your mic or they get in the way you can't really open your uh, LCD screen here. And it's kind of defeat the purpose, right? I want to be able to have, uh, you know, to fit my LCD screen the way I want. Not all L brackets, you know, have that inconvenience, but uh, some do. So that's not the best solution in my opinion. Now this company, Silence Corner, comes up with the solution to the L bracket problem and it's called the Atoll. And basically here you have a little capture clip and here it's just a little extra height because my camera, it's teeny tiny compact, it's an OM system. So I need to uh, put it a little higher up. So it's like a step tool that I had to buy on top of buying the Atoll. And now what I will do is I will put the camera onto that little step tool. It will mount screw like a capture clip and then my lens will go through uh, the round shape and I will show you how now I'll be able to switch from horizontal to vertical mode in just a second. It's really cool. Now here we go. I mounted the camera to the Atoll and here you have a little knob that you screw and unscrew to turn your camera. And so you mount this to your tripod and uh, you can also uh, use your uh, capture clip if you want. It works very well. So all you have to do is unscrew here and then here we go. You see your camera and it's you can feel it. Oh, yep, yeah, right here. And then it's in incrementation. So, and if you want, you know, you can just fix it that way. You don't have to go 45 angles. So <laughs> now you can just turn your camera uh, the way you want it. There is no more restriction. And what's great is that, um, so here I left some space because I'm going to be able to unscrew the lens 
and then I can take, I mean, most of the lenses. I don't know, my uh, 150, 400. I did try it, but I don't see why I would, I would use that because I would use um, the feet on my lens. But any other small lenses, here we go. Um, it's great. I can just change it very, very easily. I still have access to my screen. Uh, I have no more restriction and uh, I can still grip my camera pretty well. So uh, overall, it is a great little product that I think if you're a night photographer, macro photographer, I'm definitely gonna use that for macro or landscape photographer, then you should really consider this uh, to add to your camera instead of an L bracket. I've been thinking about investing in an L bracket for a while and uh, I went to my local camera store, uh, Hunts in Manchester and Harper, uh, love Harper, is great, is always uh, so helpful and he's the one who told me about this new product that they are started to stock and he ordered everything for me and we tried in store and I love it so much that actually I bought it uh, on the spot. Uh, because it's just so small, so well designed and I think for macro and for night photography, which I'm hoping to do a little bit more in 2023, this is great and it's going to be in my bag all the time. Just very light and uh, a lot of thoughts went in that design. It's just, yeah, very, very good product in my opinion. And it feels very strong, it's well, you know, designed. Just maybe this is, this is like on your skin, you know, it's a little harsh, but not bad. And I think if you have glove, that's gonna be very useful. And unlike an L bracket, it's not changing the shape of my camera, the ergonomic of my camera. It's not as bulky in my opinion. So I hope this video was informative. What do you think of this new product, the Atoll? Have you already ordered one? It was actually a Kickstarter project. So maybe you were part of the Kickstarter. Uh, I completely missed this one. So I'm happy that, you know, um, I was alerted to this product. Would you consider this uh, for 2023 as a new product to try? Uh, let me know in the comments. I also want to wish you all a very, very happy new year. It's been a great year. I want to thank you again for all your support. If you are not a subscriber, it's never too late. Click on the subscribe button, hit the bell, so you know when my videos are coming out. And because you stay until the end of this video, uh, I told you about a new product. I told you it would be great for macro. Uh, but here, look what I got. It is uh, basically a sheet for focus bracketing. It's my friend and ambassador, Chris McGuinness, who just came up with it with the help of a photographer from Texas. It is really cool because it takes away all the trial and error. It basically explains to you how many shots you'll need if you are uh, a macro four third and with the aperture that you have very very well done so i'm gonna try it out uh, next week and if you want it he actually made it for free you can download it on his website so i'm gonna put the link to his website and to uh, this um, page to download if you're interested and you should check out his work i know a lot of you are very familiar with chris he's an amazing macro photographer he's been an inspiration uh, for me since i started he's always been so helpful um, if you have any question, you can definitely reach out to him. And uh, yeah, that's a free present from him. So thank you so much, Chris, uh, for this present. I cannot wait to try it. And I hope all of you will try it as well. And um, Happy New Year to everybody. And see you in 2023. Au revoir.